Back here, the Bank of England left interest rates on hold today at the record low rate of 0.1%. But this may only be a temporary reprieve reprieve for some borrowers. The bank said a rate increase is on the way as it warned gas and electricity tariff increases will see inflation hit 5% next April, its highest inflation forecast for a decade, and it will put up rates to bring that under control. Well, let's get some advice for you. I'm joined now by the personal finance expert Ken Okoroa for thank you for joining us. Uh, relief for now, but it sounds like a rate increase is unavoidable soon. Absolutely. This has come as a, quite a shock to a lot of people because uh, most people expected the signals were that interest rates were going to go up given the direction inflation has been going. But it's come as a relief for some as well. We have many borrowers who have mortgages, those on either tracker or variable rate mortgages, you know, feeling a sense of relief. But it's inevitable that interest rates will go up uh, given the direction of inflation. How high? Could they go, do you think? Uh, well, they don't tend to rise very sharply, so it's, it would be expected that they would probably rise to 0.25%, uh, which might mean about uh, you know, a, a couple, maybe 20 or £30 pounds increase in a typical mortgage for a, a household in the UK. What's your advice then, given what is set to come in the future, according to the Bank of England, on what sort of mortgage you should be on right now or looking for? Is this a good time to fix? Is it a better time to be on a tracker? I mean, it's a minefield out there. I think it's inevitable that the rates will go up, especially as we've been given a signal that inflation will peak at around 5%. And that's not even guaranteed because, you know, it might be beyond 5%. So given that indication and given that interest rates will, by all indication, increase, it would make sense to go looking for, you know, interest rates, looking for a mortgage product that would suit a, a typical household. So a fixed rate mortgage would make sense for most households because of the direction of interest rates in terms of where they're expected to be going. And that would affect many households right now with track mortgages and those on standard variable rates. And are those good deals out there on the fixed rate um, mortgage market? Well, given, given this has been announced now and, and given the expectation, you know, uh, the, mortgage, the mortgage market and the various banks will also move uh, and will have various products out there, but will have rates that would indicate uh, almost price in that increase that's expected. So I, I think this is actually a good time to do it, you know, to go out there and, you know, do the, the research that's necessary to make sure that you know, one point gets onto, gets onto a fixed rate if possible. Look, 2022, we're facing a bit of a triple whammy, aren't we? we we've got uh, the prospect of higher interest rates, higher energy bills for sure, and tax rises. Uh, what's your top yep. tip to leave people to, to prepare for that right now? I think this is a really good time to take stock of where we are all, where, where everybody is in their household finances. Um, you know, prices are going up. We, we know we can feel the pain in our lives right now. Many people feel the pain right now, and it's expected to get worse in the next six months. So I think a good time. This is a good time to really assess family budgets, to really take stock of you know expenses, and you know really plan for the future, plan for the next six months, such that you know we're all we're all able to somehow manage over these next few months to get through what will, by all, all indication, be quite a tough time for quite a lot of households. OK, so go through those uh, those figures then. Ken Okoro, uh, for thank you very much uh, for your advice and for joining us this lunchtime. Thank you.